It's week one of the National Football League, and we've got a couple teams searching for their first Super Bowl. It's the Bengals and the Browns on Sunday night primetime. First opened in 1999. There's a good look at First Energy Stadium here in Cleveland, Ohio. Tonight, it's the Sunday night opener for the new NFL season between the Cincinnati Bengals and the Cleveland Browns. With my good friend Charles Davis in the booth, I'm Brandon Gauden, and the moment has finally arrived, CD. It's time to begin a new NFL season. Partner, there's no hiding my excitement as I got ready this morning. I could not wait to get here for this game. Imagine what it's like out there on the field for those players, though. OTAs, training camp, preseason, has all led to this moment when they officially kicked this one off to get the season underway. Gonna fake to mix it and now look to throw. Under pressure. Third and goal. Burrow. And they're gonna get to him. Here's Newton. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And that's caught in This to almost certainly win the football game. And his kick is good. And the sideline celebrates as they have taken the lead in the final minute. A final shot now for Burrow. On oh, a bad time late for a poor throw. It's won prime time games. They always seem to have a little bit more electricity, a little more anticipation, a fun one tonight, and a lot of fun ones that we have on the road ahead. And, partner, I love the word you just used there, electricity. Things were crackling out there, weren't they? And let's face it, both of these teams came in with the idea, get off to the start. Get off to a 1-0 start and get your season going. That could spark an excellent season for them. They've got that in there. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Taken down. Now back to throw. And he's going to have to eat this one. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Buying time to his left. And he can't get rid of it. They'll try and start this drive in the air. And he's good. They'll set up to throw. Here we go on second and 12. Now the ball comes loose. And this is picked up by the Browns. And his guys are going to get the football at the 28-yard line. We know he's got the speed to get downfield, Charles, but there's the negative side, a little loose with the football that time. And that's normal, especially when you have his type of talents because you feel like... Accepted. Picked up. Throwing again on second down. Mahomes. And the Browns. They fake the give. Now Mahomes. And he can't escape. Now they'll throw with Mahomes. And he's taken down. This will be a break. Mahomes to throw it. And this is intercepted. And that should do it. And the Browns are in great shape here. As it, looking to throw again on second down. Mahomes. And he's going to go down. And pushing it downfield to try and pick up bigger. And up to the third and long. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Now it's Stafford. Throwing again on second down. Stafford. Oh, he put it on the carpet. 
fumble. And this is picked up by the Browns. And this return is going to be halted. Stafford now to throw. And they're following the fumble recovery. Stafford. And he's taken it down. There's a lot of receivers, tight ends, because their ability to make people miss in the open field. And oh, it'll be intercepted. And the Browns. Fake the handoff. Now Allen. And the Browns push there on the back end. And because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about three. And that's caught inside the 35. And all the way in. Touchdown. Newton on third down. And that's going to be caught for the Browns. Off the play fake. Allen. And he's taken down. Allen off the play fake. Under pressure and down. Watson now to throw. And he's going to be straight there because the best quarterback receiver combos in the NFL, they know how to make it. And, and here we are almost through three quarters of play, and this passing game still is not going From the 44, Watson. And, and a loose football. And this is picked up by the Browns. And they are. into this game with the idea. Slow. And the Browns called out. They were forced to take the short field goal. And the key phrase, you nailed it. Forced to because... Out of the gun now on third down. And he's taken down. They've still got to finish it off, partner, and that means they've got to execute at this stage of the field. And he can't find any. Now it's Burrow. He's going to air one out. Now he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. And the Browns will take it. Out of the gun, it's Burrow. And, and I think the ball's out. And this is picked up by the the defense's perspective on this one, partner, because now they know with a three-point lead. He's got a man complete. And he is in for the score. And it is absolute stunned silence here as they win it on the road in overtime. A great game, partner. A spectacular finish. They needed at least a field goal to keep the game alive. They do one better. They get it in the end zone and end it. And I don't know about you, but I'm worn out. That type of a game takes it all out of... And ...take a look at him. We will step aside for just a moment. On play action, it's Murray. And the Browns pressure gets to him that time. A play fake as they set up to throw. And he's taken down. Back to throw. And the Browns pressure covered. Here comes a back out of the backfield. And this game. And he's taken down. This one. Looking to throw. And, oh no, he lost the football. And this is picked up by the Browns. And a big turnover there. Three. 
Back to throw. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Throwing on first down is Lance. Here's Lance to throw it. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. And this is going to be intercepted. And he'll take this across midfield and inside the 45. Play fake here on first down. And the Browns. They'll try the left side. It's Ross. And some room to run now. And all the way in. Touchdown, Cleveland. Another impressive drive. So they're two for two. Two touchdowns, Charles. A great start to this ball game for them. And one of the words that's really worked its way into our lexicon is stacking. They've stacked momentum each time out, not only on offense. Between those touchdowns, defense held, forced a punt to get the ball back, and they played awfully well. Off the play fake, Cousins. He's going to launch this thing way downfield. Oh, ball batted in the air, and now it's intercepted. And the Browns are going to take to throw again on second down. Cousins. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Throwing on second and 14. Cousins. Now Cook hit, and he lost the football. And this is picked up by the Browns. Inside the 20. And he's into the end zone. It's a fumble turn for a Browns TD. Even the great ones, some of the best, they're not immune to the fumble, and here it really hurts them. If the ball gets away from any runner's body, that's when the defense pokes at it, swipes at it, swats at it, and finds a way to create a big play for themselves. Cousins now from the 50. And he's on third down, Cousins. Looking to throw again on second down. Jackson. And the runner for the Mavericks also third down. That's complete. It's received. And now look at this. Big game, but a fumble. And this is picked up by the Browns. And his crew will take Jackson from the shotgun. And escapes the sack. But he can't get away. From midfield now, here's Jackson. A rifles run, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked up by Obi Belafonwu. On third down, Jackson. Oh, you saw that one coming. It's intercepted. Thrown back across his body. And he takes this one back into the end zone. Tannehill. And he's from the 35 on second down. Tannehill. To throw is Jackson. Throw across his body and it's 
intercepted. And the Browns are going to take it. And it's so hard to stay up with an offense that has things going so well, where you're guessing and guessing. Jackson hit, and he lost the football. And this is picked up by the Browns. And he's into the end zone. It's a fumble return for the Browns. Here's Jackson to throw. In trouble, and he's taken down. you got to hustle your guys to the line and get them set. And Jackson can... Now Jackson. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. And the Browns, Jackson. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. And he takes this one back into the end zone, and the Browns' defense has a touchdown. So this defense doubling its pleasure there. Remember, they had the fumble return for a score earlier in the game, and now this time an interception return for another score. Down here, they're able to stop it with one second to go in this game. One last shot for Jackson. He's going to let it fly. That's into a crowd and intercepted. And he takes this one back into the end zone, and the Browns' defense has... Play of the half. It's Lawrence. Looking downfield for Jones. And a double coverage, and it's intercepted. On their respective sidelines, we take a break. And he can't get a throw off. He's Football brings you the divisional rounds of the NFL playoffs and it's brought to you by EA Sports. It's the Ravens and the Browns. All that and more coming up next. It's the NFL playoffs on EA Sports and we are at Wintry First Energy Stadium in Cleveland. Straight ahead, we punch the second of two tickets to the AFC title game, and we've got a great one in store between the Baltimore Ravens and the Cleveland Browns. Hello, everyone. As the postseason continues here on EA Sports, we're pleased to bring it to you. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gauden. And who has the edge here? You got one side that had some extra rest, but another comes in off a win last week in the wild card round. And it's funny, depending on which team you are, you say that that's an advantage. You'll take the rest, you'll take the week off, get your guys healed up a little bit and ready to go. But that team that's coming in off of a win last week, they're really excited to keep playing. They feel like they are hot and ready to go. Be led out by their quarterback and none other than Cam Newton. And he and his team, they were the beneficiaries of a first round bye earned by a tremendous regular season. He'd been a little bit nicked up so he could use the rest. And I'm sure his team... Play action. Now Jackson. Slings it to Andrews, and Andrews lost the football. And this is picked up by the Browns. And they will take over possession of the football at their 42-yard line. Thank goodness for heaters up here. And thank goodness I don't have to carry the football in this game. It's January. It's cold out there. Trying to clutch the football and absorb the hits. Not easily done. Yeah, we saw a problem. Put that down for a win in the defense's collar. 
That's into the hands of Gafford. In the wild card round, on the road here again in the divisional round, but they're hanging tough. He rifles one that's intercepted. Drive. Now they just want the officials to hurry up and place the ball so they can snap it and get back to work. Room here to run. Touchdown, Browns. Well, this is where quarterbacks passing on this Ashton stats. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he takes this one in for a Browns score. Now Jackson on first down. And the Browns pressure. Next, a look at the next-gen stats in that first half for the Ravens. And they will need to get this passing game in gear because they did not do much of anything in that first half. And it's why the scoreline is what it is. Meanwhile, for the Browns, we check out their numbers on the ground as they'll try to keep the momentum going into the second half. Final adjustments are underway in the locker rooms. Which of these two teams will survive? To throw is Jackson. And he's got Now a first down throw for Newton. Throwing left side, it's complete. Touchdown! Rico Gafford. Play action. It's Jackson. And he's taking it. Here we go. It's Jackson on fourth down. He's going to sling this deep downfield. Throw it across his body, and it's intercepted. And the Browns are going to take over. They'll try the left side. Goodson. Third and two. Here's Jackson. He'll dump this. Now the ball comes loose. And this is picked up by the Browns. And he's into the end zone. It's a fumble return for Browns TD. So a great play there by the defense. If these guys are going to advance, and it looks like they will, this defense a big reason why. And they love carrying the mantle for this team, don't they? You see the way that they move around out there? And they have secured a spot in the conference championship. And now you can start to smell it at this point in the season, can't you? You really can because the focus has been one game at a time, not looking ahead. But when you get to the conference championship game and you know you're there, the Super Bowl does loom in the future. It's time for the AFC Championship, and the road to a Super Bowl goes through Cleveland. It's the Steelers and the Browns, and it comes your way next. It's the NFL playoffs on EA Sports, and we are at Wintry First Energy Stadium in Cleveland. Straight ahead, it's a clash to decide the AFC's representative in the Super Bowl. And it'll be a great one between the Pittsburgh Steelers and the Cleveland Browns. Hello, everyone. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. The postseason continuing here on EA Sports. And, man, it is electric in here, and it should be conference championship time. I don't know about you, but my butterflies in my stomach, they have iron wings in this one. <laughs> and every guy I've ever talked to has all said the same thing. This game, the conference championship game, may have more intensity than even the Super Bowl because you know what the stakes are. You're trying so hard to get to the big game. But this is the this is the one that's the real challenge. Time. 
And a glance here at their shifty mobile signal caller. And rightly so. He's been the big story leading a Newton calling the shots. The big man under center at 6'5", nearly 250 pounds. And we can talk all we want about football being a team game and leaning on different parts and aspects. They'll try and run for it. The start of the game with the emotion. Guys a little bit jumping. Oh, you U.S. offense to get on track in this one. And he'll get this away into the icy winter air. Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks as always. One half remains in the battle to see who will take home that Lamar Hunt trophy and represent the AFC in the Super Bowl. We'll get back to you guys in just a moment. But first, time to look ahead to the NFC Championship coming up later today. And it should be a great one as well, as it's going to be the Tampa Bay Buccaneers taking on the New York Giants. Time now for a check of the next-gen stats in that first half for the Steelers. And they will need to get this passing game in gear because they did not do much of anything in that first half. And it's why the scoreline is what it is. Meanwhile, for the Browns, we check out their numbers on the ground as they'll try to keep the momentum going into the second half. Both these teams going through their final adjustments before the second half. Which one? Throwing on second and 14, Newton. This is cool. Teams have done in NFL history. Let's try to come back from a four position. And he fires one that's intercepted. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Browns defense has a touchdown. Well, CD, we have seen it many times throughout the course of the season. This defense coming up large and snagging a big takeaway. But here they get not just the takeaway, six points as well. And you just know that for this team to advance, they have to get a big performance from this unit. And to this point, they've delivered. This one's pretty much all but over. Are you saying that you feel like people are starting to think about getting it? Newton now to throw. And that's going to be caught. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. And the from the gun, here's Newton. Looking left side, and it's complete. Touchdown. Tight ends, because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big play. And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. Uh, when coaches come into a game preaching total team effort, CD, I think this is the type of ball game that they're dreaming of. It was pretty apparent early on that they were clicking in all three phases. It's going to get better for the next time out. This, they'll use his motivation for the rest. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. And the Browns throwing here. Newton. And give him another six. One final shot. They'll look to throw. The Cleveland Browns are AFC champs. As we say good night, everybody.
Madden Football is the home of the Super Bowl. And this historic matchup is brought to you by EA Sports. It's the reigning Super Bowl champs and the Browns coming up next. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. We can't do it. As it'll be the AFC champion Cleveland Browns taking on the champions from the NFC, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Hi again, everyone, with Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, we look at this Browns ball club. They come in off another victory a weekend ago. That ran their win streak up to seven now. And I think that win last week established them as Super Bowl front runners. They're playing with confidence and swagger, and you need that to go a long way. On the other side of the field for the visiting Bucks, they too were winners last time out, so something's got to give here. I love it when both teams come in off of wins. Great mindsets, and it usually leads to a really well-played game. Cam Newton. And no doubt he's living out a dream right now. He's had dating back to his first days of playing football as a kid. But he's so out comes the offense now with a long field ahead of him. Commanding the offense will be the highly. Here's Darnold. And the Browns pressure gets to him that time, and he's going to go down. Third and long, it's Darnold. Going deep this time for Miller. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Now Newton. And this is caught. Touchdown, Cleveland. From 19 yards. Darnold down to throw. And he's going to be taken down. Bullock's kick is good. That's going to force a three and out. There could be enough time on the clock that they can get the ball back for their offensive guys and maybe put some more points on the board before the half. Oh, good return up past the 30. Down the numbers. There he goes. And he will score. Touchdown, Cleveland. I know a lot of special teams coaches, they just want to keep it away from him because that's what he can do. And others have egos that their players can't keep up with. And they say, challenge it. Kick it to him. The way he runs, as fast as he is, I wouldn't challenge it. Darnold to throw again. Being bad, he can't fight. Bullock's kick is good. Super Bowl. As we send you to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach? Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. What a season this has been. Hard to believe it ends tonight as we'll get back to you guys for the second half of this Super Bowl in just a moment. Moving on, let's take a look at the next-gen stats in the first half for Tampa Bay. And despite the fact that they're down on the scoreboard, they were able to have some success throwing the football in that opening half. Meanwhile, for the Browns, we check out their numbers on the ground as they'll try to keep the momentum going into the second half. Both teams making their final adjustments of the season during this long halftime break. Who will claim the Lamar? From just shy of midfield, Darnold. Oh, you saw that one coming. It's intercepted, thrown back across his body. 20! And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Browns' defense has a touchdown. Well, this defense, they've been terrific all year, and they come through with a pick six here on the game's biggest stage. Perfect descriptor there because we have seen this time and time again. This defense, their ability to take the ball away from teams, they definitely have the nose for the football, and it pays. Darnold from the gun. Balloon it and he can't find any try here. And this is off target to the left. It and his kick here is good. Play. And down he goes on that field. But this is a big play, third and goal. And this is caught for a touchdown. So hang on, team. And how about this? The dog pound gets the crown. The Cleveland Browns are the Super Bowl champs. 
the victors getting to hoist that Lombardi trophy. You know, we've talked to guys that have done it, and they say there's no better feeling in sports. I don't know how there can be. The, the, the journey to get to this game is incredible. And then to finally break through and win it when all eyes are on this game alone because there's nothing else going on, that's just got to be absolutely amazing. That, the task, incredible. But the accomplishment, forever.